Look at him. Hey, congratulations on the power. This is such an addictive uh, series. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to lure you in, addicting you to a thrilling show and then cause you to think some complex thoughts about the world. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, it does make me think a lot, that's for sure. But uh, let me start with you, Naomi, because one of the things that we have to translate is to adapt it from novel to screen. How hard was it to let go of a lot of the plots and change it completely for, for the series? You know what? The letting go for me is not that hard at all because I love the conversations. You know, the book is really uh, an attempt to start a conversation with the world about some of the questions that are raised by the book, questions about what is power, what is the nature of gender or sex, like why do we think a man is this and a woman is that? And so really working with working with Tim, working with Sister Pictures, working with the amazing Amazon Studios has been a real experience of um co just continuing that conversation in a really deep way uh i think it also probably helps that i worked in collaborative mediums before i, I work in video games mm. so i'm very used to the idea that other people make your work better mm. and not that they're just trying to mess it up mm. and i don't think a huge amount about the novel either on, uh, along the way i mean obviously there are some elements that have gone and there are a lot of new elements as well and we only get about a third of the way through the novel in the first season now, one of the things I also want to bring up is, uh, you, even though the novel is a lot of female pers perspectives, there is a lot of male representation on here. Could you talk about that? And Tim, how does it feel that the, the women are taking the lead on the series, most definitely? Uh, yeah, it's an interesting question. Honestly, I barely thought about it. I mean, I thought about it a lot in the writer's room because the writers were generally talking about, you know, the female experience. Um, but in terms of making the show, it, yeah, no, I, it, it makes no difference um, to me um, in what I do. But, um, you know, I, I think anything that, you know, changes the narrative a little bit and changes the power structures in whatever industry you're working in is, is you know, positive. Um, so I've enjoyed that for sure. Right. And certainly when I was writing the book and when we were making the show, I had a, you know, you can't just make a show like this and only have women leads. Yeah. You know, you need to be able to, I mean, fundamentally, if if what you're going for is a reversal of power dynamics in the world, if you don't have any great men in at the start, then essentially you don't have any people in the women's position in at yeah. the end. Yeah. So then I would just be making a show about men. Yeah. <laughs> Which so so to be able to get that in and and like feel those reversals for everybody. And also it's it's not a man hating show. No. It's it's you know it's about how um, sex and gender affect us all. How these questions about where power lies affect us all. And uh, you know the world is full of really great men. So like put them in the show. I read the book. I loved the book. It didn't cross my mind for a second that this was a book that wasn't for me. Um, it's a really thrilling story, and you know I think the show is the same. So it's about power really, rather than um, you know gender. Most excellent. Well, hey, thank you for, for this conversation. I have like a million questions I would have loved to picked on you, but you know, you have the power to, and I'm addicted to this. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Lovely to talk.